Alrighty, well, it's Friday afternoon, guys. Made it through an entire week. Still got one shift to go. Friggin' awesome. One more shift. Weekend's here tomorrow. And, uh, we got some stuff to do today. I was gonna get my oil changed, but I guess I'll have to wait. Freak zigs. It's too late. I got things. And, uh, welcome to my vlog. miserable day out today let me tell you freaking rained all night night last night and it's been raining off and on today miserable day see so yeah, I was up at around one I've been getting up at one every day brutal freaking brutal and um, oh my van sounds sick but um, today I want to do flyers because I haven't done flyer day in like forever so I'll see what kind of deals they got in the paper and depending on what time it is after that's all said and done, we might uh, scoot over to uh, the Just Lubes and get the uh, the oil dropped and the oil in, and then that'd be rocking. I don't know. We'll see what time's like. So Magic's Movie Edit Pro, or the company Magic's, is releasing their new copy of Magic's Movie Edit Pro, version 2013, I think is the official name for it. And it looks like it actually runs in true 64-bit. That's friggin' epic. The reason why that's epic is because now, on 64-bit OS's, it's actually gonna use more than two gigs of RAM when rendering. I should say one gig of RAM, because all the program, the original Magic Movie Edit Pro will use, is one gig of your memory. It won't use any more than one gig because it's 32-bit and it needs RAM left over for the OS. So in theory, that should re increase the rendering speed and they're saying it's like 23% faster than the MX, which had 64-bit, but it was not a full 64-bit editing suite. It would use 64-bit, but not all the RAM. It only used a gig of RAM. I tried it and I was not impressed. So I'm gonna have to try the new version and see how that is. And uh, I might be switching back to Magix, people. I might be switching back. I actually do miss editing in Magix. Life was easier back then. <laughs> Sony Vegas is awesome, don't get me wrong. But uh, there's a lot of do's and don'ts in Sony Vegas that I don't understand yet. And um, there's a lot of times where the program will just lock up for no reason and crash and it's like, freak sakes, why are you doing this? And um, sometimes when that happens, I end up losing everything that I made and I have to re-edit the vlog, which is why they go up so freaking late. That, and it doesn't help that I get home from the Hortons and by the time I'm done editing the vlog, it's already 5 o'clock in the morning and I'm starting to push it up to YouTube. <laughs> That's another problem, but, you know, whatevs. Anywho's, I'm going to have a shower. Then we're gonna do freaking flyer day. All right, people, let's carry on with the day. I've had a shower. I'm wearing vlogging life black. Yeah. And today we're gonna do flyer day. Flyer day. Gotta look at tails on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day. Flyer day. Gotta look at sales on Flyer Day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer Day, Flyer Day, yeah. Flyer Day, Flyer Day, yeah. All the sales, all the sales. So much sales. Love the sales. Yeah, I know you guys love that song. All right, let's get on with flyers. All right, let's start with staples because it was easy. Dare to compare savings throughout the store. You dare me? Shouldn't. Oh, I got the iPad 3 here for the regular price of $519, right on. Super cheap laptop with the uh, dual core processor, the B820. Oh yeah, I heard good things about this laptop, except for the fact that it has the A10, which doesn't come on par with an i5, but uh, I heard it's not, not that bad of a rig. That's a sweet deal, 16 gig pen drive for 10 bucks. Friggin' right. Oh, they got my keyboard on for 20 bucks. That's pretty sweet. Now that is a sweet laptop. Frig yeah. A 10.1 Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 for 350 bucks. That's a sweet deal. I need two of those for my video editing suite. That's a pretty good deal. $90 for a one terabyte hard drive. And it's the portable kind, so you don't need no power supply. Frig yeah. Well, that pretty much ends staples. Let's move on to Future Shop. Exciting stuff. 
Oh frig, buy a gigantic TV worth freaking $1,800 and you get a little camera. You get a little camera. $1,800 and you throw in a camera so you can take a picture of it and put it up on Facebook. Oh, it's an Apple TV. That's right. I may have to buy this game. Just saying. My dad just got this phone, the Sony Xperia Ion. And he really, really likes it. But what I don't like is that right there. Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Should at least have ice cream sandwich. Hey, it's the camera my friend got. Her 100 died. She brought it back into uh, Future Shop and got the 110. And it doesn't do too bad. The audio pickup on it's actually better than the 300. Uh, bring an iPod 4th gens. Uh, I'd love to get that CD player for the uh, the G6. That'd be pretty sweet. But I'd rather have had the Garmin map system. Oh no, three day deal. 50 bucks off on a 17 inch laptop with garbage features. Oh, it's a little ultra book. Who makes this? Samsung. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I still like this Ultra Book overall. Looks like Future Shop has a deal on pen drives too. You can get an eight gig for six or for seven bucks, a sixteen for freaking ten bucks, a thirty-two for twenty uh, twenty-three bucks, and a sixty-four for forty-five. That's not too bad. Staples has it cheaper, and it's not a WD. Oh, I should tell the guys at work to go pick this up, because I'm not buying any more routers for there. Those sons of bitches break my shit. Oh, that's a pretty nice little camera. I know it's not a DSLR, but it looks pretty sweet. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet indeed. Now moving on to Canadian Tire. Who is doing a three days only sale for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Why? Because they're celebrating 90 years. Holy shit. They got an 8 gallon compressor on for 100 bucks. That's pretty sweet. All season motor masters. Not for my tire size, but uh, 7349. I wonder how much they'd cost if I wanted to put them in my 17s. Well, I was just talking about needing to do an oil change. They have it on for 14 bucks. And there's my air compressor. Hey, bloke, there's my air compressor. 50% off. 25 bucks. And don't worry, buddy. It didn't break. It just got hot. Thermal shutdown. Still works. Well, I should get one of those for the Trans Am's battery. Well, first I should get a new battery. But uh, I'll worry about that next year. Oh, they got my rearview mirror on sale. Right on. Yeah. I think the season's almost over for this. Now that's friggin' awesome. The 90th anniversary Canadian Tire Truck. Holy shit, that thing looks heavy duty. I need that. I should get one of these so that I can just fire up the Trans Am whenever without having to plug it in. Or just get one of these so I'm done with it. Well, that's cool. It's a battery tester and uh, charging tester, I guess. I don't know, the description's kind of lame, but uh, that's what it looks like. Holy shit, that's quite the case for the iPhone. Almost looks waterproof. The Otter Box. A different style. I like that. So you'll start getting nervous when I start seeing things like this, and that, and that, because I know winter is coming. $5.99 for a three pack? Are you serious? I paid six bucks for a ten pack. Oh, friggin' heaters. That reminds me, I gotta buy some kerosene for that heater in the garage. Then I gotta figure out how to light it. Oh, airsoft rifles. Yep. Oh, it's a UFC branded weight bench system. If it's got the UFC name on it, you know it's going to make it big and strong. Box scratcher. Alrighty, well that pretty much sums up flyer day. There wasn't many flyers to go through, but they did give me um, this for Canadian Tire. Basically, scratch and you could win one of three $5,000 Canadian Tire gift cards or one of these great prices. A McCain's Deep and Delicious Cake or $5 instant savings. But you can only scratch it in the store, so. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. 
I guess we'll have to wait. Alrighty, well I decided to flip over to the flip because uh, I'm heading off. It's about quarter to three now, so that gives me time to go get my oil changed and uh, maybe go to Sobeys and pick up some, some chicken for, for lunch. I'm going to have me a little cheat day. Frig it. Yeah, some of you saw the bottle of Coke sitting on my desk in the other room. But there is Coke Zero, so I needed a, a cola fix. So, frig it. I have a little bit of friggin' uh, Coke Zero. It's got nothing in it, so it tricks my body into think I'm drinking pop. Keeps me happy, keeps the world safe, and other things. So, right on, but I really need to get the oil changed on the G6 because uh, the warning light's on. And I've never seen that come on before where it actually told me to change my frickin' oil. So, I'm gonna go do that. Alright, let's hammer down. Alright, in the car, back a window, smoke a cigarette. Let's go to the loop place. Oh, frig, we got incoming. So I don't know why, but some people are asking me, uh, where's the G6? What's going on with the G6? I heard you had to get it fixed and stuff. I'm driving the G6 right now, people. Don't know, don't know what you're talking about. I blew out my tires in the winter. Uh, that was on Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve. I had a flat. That was about it, you know. Not a big deal. Got it fixed. Life goes on. But, uh, yeah, I'm driving the G6 right now, so not quite sure what's going on in the world of YouTube that my car's broken, but like I just took it on a never long ride to blokes like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, a couple dozen weeks ago. Just go with it. So, yeah, G6 is fine. No problems. No problems. Well, I found this really cool program called Free Studio. And no people, it's not a video editing program. It actually, it's completely free. And you have the ability with it to download every video on your channel. Or on a channel for that matter. You can actually download every video sitting on a channel. So if you wanted to back up your YouTube videos, you can use this program to do it. And it looks pretty cool. That'll be easier for me to take all the videos off of the skate channel I can download them all to uh, a portable hard drive and edit them up as I go should be pretty sweet so right on that's that's the battle plan but right now's battle plan is is get this old crummy oil out of the car and uh, get some new shit into it because she's feeling kind of grimy feeling kind of grimy freaking oil I got a sun chicken so far up my ass you can see what I had for lunch Holy shit, can this guy like ride my bumper any closer? If I didn't care about my car, I'd slam on the brakes right now and just wreck it. Be like, oh, I, I thought I saw a squirrel. I'm, I'm sorry, I thought I saw a squirrel. Freaking arseholes. So yeah, I'll go to the uh, loop place, get the oil dropped, then we'll go over to Sobeys, we'll get the uh, get some food or something if we still have time to kill. We'll just go walk around Staples for a bit and kill some time there. It's currently 10 to 3, so still got 40 minutes before I got up leaving for work. So, frig it. Hammer her down. Frig while I'm at Sobeys, I might as well get some allergy pills because I'm out. And I could really use an allergy pill, let me tell you. What the frig is his malfunction? I am going to start throwing, I'm going to carry around some steel ball bearings. When they do that, I'm just going to start pitching them out the window behind me. Oh shit. The phone's vibrating, I can't get to it. Somebody's trying to call me. Alrighty. Looks like a busy place today. Everybody's getting their oil changed. Well, all the bays are full, so I'm going to have a little bit of a wait. Oh no, this bay's open. I'm going to wait till somebody guides me in, because I can never do this right. So, um... I'm gonna wait for an attendant, like it says up on the wall, because no my luck. I'll uh, do like I did with the friggin' Ford Tempo and put it in the pit, because that was fun. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Right. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oil is done. Apparently I had low air pressure in my back tire, but he was telling me I had 20 pounds in there. Not even. That's not good. It's really not good. I know my, my tire pressure was up when I was at Blokes because uh, I checked it before I left and I had 35 pounds in. So I'm honestly not sure where the hell my tire pressure went. Ow, oh well. oil's 
changed. Now we'll go rock out at Sobeys. It's currently 10 after 3. So we got uh, plenty of time to dick around a bit, you know. So let's go get some food for tonight. And then uh, we're good. Alright, talk to you guys in a bit. Holy shit, it's a good thing I showed up uh, here early. It's already 3.30, it's freaking busy in there, people. Alrighty, well, let's jump in the car and head her off to work. Yeah, they got a real sweet deal in there for, um, what the freak was the price? I'm gonna have a cigar. No, I'm gonna have one of these cigars, these, these sweets. Fisher Sweets. Swisher Sweets. It's already 3.30, son of a bitch. All right, let's get the frig out of here. But yeah, they got this real wicked deal in there right now where for 20 bucks, you get a full chicken, like the chickens we normally buy, the girlfriend and I, that we bought last Saturday. You get a uh, full rack of ribs, already cooked. Everything's already cooked, just bring it home and eat it, right? You get a big box of salad, and I mean it's big. Um, a baguette breadstick thing. And on top of that, you get dessert. And it's a Boston cream cake for $20. Normally the chicken alone is 10 bucks. The uh, rack of ribs is about eight bucks. The cake is $10. The breadstick's five bucks. Like, it's a $20 saving and it's like a meal for four people. I'm never gonna get out of here. I'm gonna try some evasive maneuvers here, people. Oh, what's this bimbo doing? What's this big son of a bitch doing? That's it, I'm showing you guys the road because this is fucking cocked. But, um, yeah, it's quite the frickin' deal, any way you look at it. So, you know, all that food for 20 bucks, and that would last me and the girlfriend all weekend. Well, the ribs would be gone right away, because I, I love ribs. I, I kill ribs fast. I don't freak around when it comes to ribs. Like, when we had the rib roast at the girlfriend's parents' house, and it was all you could eat because they bought so many ribs, Oh man, there was no leftovers. I was just like non-stop om nom nomming the ribs. When they take me to a buffet, like when um, here in town, when Casey's does their all-you-can-eat rib night, and it's brutal. I'll just sit there and eat and eat and eat, and I'm full. I'll take five minutes, go have a cigarette, come back and eat some more. I can't do that anymore. But uh, yeah, I'm bad with ribs. Love the shit. I got me a new jug of Mio, so I can mix up some more Mio. Got a new, uh, got my chicken, got my rice, which I shouldn't be having because it's loaded with carbs, but frig it. Got the oil changed, so that's a bonus. Maybe I'll get better fuel mileage now, I don't know. I didn't frickin' new. 16 degrees out today, 16 degrees Celsius. It should get cooler, that's for sure. Dollar 39.1 for gas. That's dicked. Still trying to figure this out. You guys ever watch a YouTube video where the title has a blue hyperlink in it? And when you click on the blue hyperlink, it looks like it brings it to a channel page, but it belongs to that individual. I'm trying to figure out how people do that. Like uh, this one site the girlfriend showed me called uh, Eat Your Kimchi. It's a Korean pop site. Basically, they uh, they have this thing where they do uh, uh, tours around Korea and they show you different things and different restaurants and stuff. But they also feature K-pop artists and they do other things like that. And the way they have it set up, each one of the videos has its own little blue hyperlink in the beginning. So if you click on it, it's like it brings it to a playlist. And I'd love to set up something like that for vlogging life, like if I go ahead with the Skaven Classics, where I can say uh, this is a Skaven Classic of uh, Blah and have it on its own playlist. It would still show up under the vlogging life subscriptions, but um, this Mustang here's got things and he's got to go. Look at him. But he's dicked because he just got, he might be in front of me, he might be getting speed, but he, he's not going to get too far. Unless he does an evasive cut over. Like, I'm sorry, bud, I was doing 50, that's the speed limit. No, you son of a bitch. Look at this guy. Revving the snot out of it, driving it like it's a race car. Like, holy shit, can you be any more aggressive, bud? Honestly. You're in the city, take her easy. Kids are getting out of school. Freak sakes. But, um, yeah, anyway, they got that hyperlink thing, and I'd love to do that with vlogging life.
Freaking last night I watched a great movie. It was, uh, you guys know the Insane Clown Posse, right? Well, they've released a couple movies. And, um, yeah, they're straight to DVD. Don't worry about it. You didn't miss them in the theater. Uh, one was Big Money Hustlers, which I saw a long freaking time ago. It was a great movie. My buddy actually bought it, and we used to watch the shit out of it. And, um, last night I crawled across a movie called Big Money Rustlers. Same concept, but it's a freaking western. Big Money Rustlers. Yep. Pretty, uh, pretty funny stuff. Looks like it was shot with a bunch of handy cams with steady cams on them. But um, the movie's freaking hilarious if you're into ICP's sense of humor. You know, and they had a lot of people in, like Jason Muse is in it for freaking Jane Silent Bob. Uh, who else is in it? Jump Steady, freaking all the boys from the Dark Carnival. You got Blaze, freaking Jamie Madrox, and the Monoxide Child. And of course, ICP and St. Clown Posse, they're in it. You got uh, Shaggy Two Dope and Violent J. Violent J actually plays the big kingpin. His name is uh, Sugar Chips. He's a big time gambler, Sugar Chips. And then you got, uh, oh no, not Sugar Chips, Big Baby Chips, sorry. Big Baby Chips. And then you got uh, Sugar Wolf, which is Shaggy Two Dope. He's like the outlaw who comes to town to stop Sugar uh, or Baby Sweets. I want to call him Baby Sweets because that's his name in Money Hustlers. But uh, in the big money rustlers, it's baby chips. Jamie Madrox and Monoxide Child, they play um, the, basically uh, big baby chips' uh, little minions. One guy's called Little Poot, and the other one's called something swank, I can't remember. But it's freaking hilarious. That they come rolling into town and they got the revolvers, and all of a sudden they got AK 47s, and they're supposed to be back in the West. It's, it's, it's great, it's a great movie. It's just one of those movies you watch and go, holy shit, what the hell did I just watch? And you're like, I think I want to watch it again because it was so epic. Well, this guy's going to have to find all 17 of his gears. Yeah, big money rustlers. About Reagan epic. Holy shit, where are you going, bud? There's no parking here. He's got his left signal light on, but he's turning. Oh, he's taking a wide bank, that's why. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Holy shit, he's got quite the load on him, eh? Look at all the shit. So much shit. All those bricks. Drop them off my house, you can do my driveway interlock style. Just saying. Alrighty. Okay, so we're at freaking work. Right on. Stab the car here and shut her down. Hey, well, I'm at work, so I'm gonna head her inside, probably eat some shit and uh, drink some coffee, have some Mio. Talk to you guys on my break, so peace the frig out. Alrighty, well, it's my first break and it's pissing out like a son of a bitch. Frig sakes, I'm getting soaked, so I'm not gonna be out here too long. The weather can lick my nutsack. This sucks. Friggin' rain. How well we need it. Nothing much to report on. It's been a pretty good night so far. Let's hope it stays that way. There's water on the lens. I do apologize. I'm gonna cut this short and head her back inside. Hopefully, it's nice when I come out on lunch. So we'll talk to you guys then. That's a water droplet. Son of a bitch. Oh yeah, it's lunchtime and it quit raining. Right on, right on. About frickin' time and brutal. I don't know what I'm saying. Actually late getting on my lunch. It's a uh, quarter after eight. I got stuck on a, on a phone call with a customer who was all nervous about doing stuff, trying to get them to do things on the computer and they were all scared and stuff. And you know, all they do is go on Facebook and tend to their farms. So I was like trying to trying to get them to click on stuff and they're all nervous because they're afraid that I'm going to walk them through self-destruct on their computer or something. Yep, we got people like that. Friend sends me a picture. I guess she's at Walmart looking at all the Halloween costumes because she likes to do that every year. And she saw one and it's the red Angry Bird costume. The red Angry Bird, that's my favorite Angry Bird. I love the red one. He's the funniest looking one of all. He's my favorite. I got the red Angry Bird jump drive. Got the red Angry Bird freaking stickers. Red Angry Bird stuffy. Red Angry Bird pillow. I think I should just get the red Angry Bird costume and come to work like that. You know, as long as nobody finds a pig and tries to slingshot me into him, that'd suck. I think I'm not going to bother with the iPhone 5 like a lot of you are saying. I got an iPhone 4. It does the job. It can FaceTime. It can make calls. It only cost me 80 bucks. Frig it. Why bother with the iPhone 5? 
I'll just run this thing until it completely fails on me and then I'll get something else. I don't know. What I'll get, I don't know. But we'll get something else. I just really like the FaceTime feature. So that's why I think I'm, I'm thinking I might just stick with iPhones and not go back to Android phones. I got my Android tablets for the, for the Android experience. So right on. At least I got, you know, both worlds. So that's pretty sweet, I think. I don't know what's going on tomorrow. It's probably going to be busier than Frig. So there'll probably be some film opportunities there. But, uh... Sunday, I definitely got to get on that friggin' snowblower and get her all winter ready. I watched the video on how to drop the oil out of it because I honestly had no frickin' idea. And I watched the video on it and it looks pretty easy, so I'm gonna shit my pants. And then uh, on Sunday, probably do an oil change on the friggin' uh, snowblower. Right on. Get fresh oil into it so it starts up easier, you know, turn the gas back on, fuel the bowl, give her a quick little cold start, all that fun stuff. All that fun, exciting stuff. Just saying. I also think I'm getting a cold. I think when I came out here on my break, the fact that I'm not wearing a jacket, I think I'm picking up some sort of a, a freaking bug or something. It sucks, but whatevs. It's the way she goes, buddy. The way she goes. Well, I got nothing to report on. So, so far it's been a really uneventful night, which I dig. So, right on. Anyway, I'm gonna freaking head her back inside and I'll talk to you guys on my next break. Maybe something cool will happen. Or maybe nothing cool will happen. We'll see. Check you guys later. Alrighty, well, it's 10.30 break time, and it's been a pretty slow night. Pretty slow indeed. That's all right. Just chat with Bloke earlier. I don't think we're going to get any, any farm vids out of him this weekend, boys. Looks like he's freaking sick big times. So, he won't be going to the farm unless he squeezes out there tomorrow or Sunday. He's hurting big time. Like, laid up in bed, friggin' can't do anything. He's sick as a dog. So... Not sure if we're gonna get any farm videos out of them. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Have to wait and see. And that has been a pretty relaxed night. I don't mind it one bit. So, shift's over in like an hour and a half. Then I get to go home, edit and upload, and go to sleep. Because tomorrow I think we have a busy day ahead of us. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 39% sure. So just go with it. Any hoozle, I'm gonna head her back inside. So, talk to you guys uh, when I leave here. All right, peace out. Alrighty, well, work's done. It's friggin' midnight. Time to head her home. So, oh. Let's do that. I'm home. I've been home for a bit actually. And uh, I'm about to leave again because I'm going off roading with cat piss at 1 o'clock in the friggin' morning. Yep, it's gonna happen. Alright, guys, we're deep in the woods. I'm here with cat piss. I'd show you cat piss, but it's dark in the cabin. We gotta keep them dark because, you know, we gotta see where we're going. And basically, if we were to break down out here, I'm telling you, we'd probably get molested by hillbillies. I'm just saying, we're in hillbilly country. We haven't even hit the trail yet. Yeah, we're not even in the trail yet, and I can already hear banjos playing like it's decked. All right, keep you posted. All right, people, we're um, going trail riding, and uh, I hope we don't get stuck because it's a long freaking walk back to the house. Don't get stuck in this. So, well, uh, holy shit! No, oh, she's bumpy. <laughs> yeah, see, this is the V Mutts. Voyager multi use trail system. Oh. This goes all the way to Mattawa. It goes all the way, like, everywhere. Oh. There's a snowmobile down this. Well, there you go, people. There you go. There's some water coming up, too. Some water coming up, huh? We're gonna get killed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we're still bombing in the back 40s here, and we got a problem. Oh, no, we don't. We got service. We got service. For the longest, longest time we didn't have service. And uh, I got two bars. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, freaking right. Bombing around Capus. Oh. Breaking in his Jeep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Still giving her. Still giving her. Oh, yeah, so it is the water, eh? Reflection? Yeah. That's crazy. Ugh. It's freaking bumpy back here, guys. This is apparently the old ATV skidoo trails. Too bad I don't own an ATV or a skidoo. Because I'd probably use these and stuff. But I don't own those. So frig it. Instead, I'll just ride shotgun and Capus's Jeep. Because that's fine. Oh, frig yeah, we made it out. Right on. We made it out. All right, it's home time. All right, well, I'm back home now, and um, yeah, we didn't go like really big time off-roading and stuff. You just showed me the skidoo trails and things. 
because, come on guys, it's friggin' 1 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the morning, and it's only two of us out there, and if we would've got stuck, that would've been horrible. We'll do the crazy shit during the day, but, uh, you know, it'd be awesome if I had a quad to go back on those trails, because that would've been fun to do off-roading. So, I don't know, maybe in the future, I might pick up some cheap quad, but, um, yeah, frig it. Anywho, I'm gonna head her inside, and we're gonna shut this down. Alrighty guys, well it's later than frig, I'm gonna shut her down here call her a night so you know the routine if you like the video hit the like button questions comments concerns leave in the comment section below and until next time guys keep on vlogging they were made because it would cost them way more than they think they're saving so by all means government balls in your court it's your move so i get this question asked a lot i finally i'm finally gonna field it a lot of people ask me if i like my iphone better than i liked my android well i'm gonna be honest with you